So if you have a similar YouTube feed to mine, you've been seeing a lot of these videos popping up recently. These videos usually include obese men indulging in food, fat people, gay people, trans people, femboys, or weak looking men in general in the beginning. Ziz usually makes an appearance, and the men doing typical manly things. Fighting, war, killing. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these things get me hyped. I think my test levels increased just watching these but I think there's a deeper meaning behind the rise of these types of videos. I was originally going to have a shorter video, but as I got writing the script more, thoughts came into my head, so here we are. I will address this video by focusing on two main points. The first, the rejection of the 21st century social movements, and secondly, reclaiming male aggression. First, I think many men, particularly young men, are tired of the world they are seeing. I think this is the pushback against the recent movements that have happened over the past decade. Many have been good. We should allow space for different types of people. Since the beginning of time, there has always been gay, transgendered, and weaker men. These movements have allowed space for people that don't typically fit in societal norms. So in the past, there used to be no space. And now there's a finally safe space and communities for these people. These spaces have given people freedom that was needed and freedom to live and integrate into society instead of being ostracized. Now, the problem is with the societal freedom, it is crippling for many people. With the rise of personal lifestyle freedoms, traditional values were also stripped away. I feel society has thrown the baby out with the bathwater. People now have a choice to choose how they live. People were given the choice to find meaning in their own lives without the constraint of religion in the 21st century. But instead of finding a new personalized meaning, people opted into nihilism and the black pill and self-indulgence. People were given sexual freedom, so they expressed that leading to the highest rate of single parent households ever. People were given the freedom to eat whatever they wanted in abundance, so they did and to cripple their societal health. Most people would be better if they were told what to do. This is how the human mind operates. Your great great grandparents were told to act, eat, and think a certain way. So they did and passed it on to their kids, and then their kids passed it on to their kids. This is the essence of culture. People were told how to act morally through religion. Most human beings cripple under freedom which is why religion and culture have always existed since the dawn of humanity. Most people are not free thinkers, and this is okay. The freedom of the 21st century for many young people leads to a lack of meaning, even if it's just a personal one and a lust for life. What I view these videos is a callback to traditional order to implement meaning back into life. People want structure again. People want things to aspire to, especially young men. I view these videos as having good and bad traits. While it may provide motivation for some to get their life in order, it usually doesn't come without putting another individual down. McAvray's storytelling sums it up quite nicely. It starts off as a genuine space to give dudes inspiration, eventually it gets overrun by bitter dickheads who slowly seep their toxicity into the space, eventually to the point where all the well-adjusted dudes get turned off by the negativity and hightail it, and thus, when younger, more impressionable dudes come looking for guidance, or inspiration, or camaraderie, the only ones left are the anal swabs. And that, in a nutshell, is how male-centric spaces get co-opted and turn the shit. There needs to be a better understanding and acceptance from whatever side you're on. I want to be a more traditionally masculine man. Why should I be mocked for that? And if you're a person that has never fit inside of that traditionally masculine frame, why should I mock you for that? We don't need to cancel each other. There are many ways to live life on earth. There are very dumb aspects to both sides of this coin as well. Not every man has to risk his life in war to be a man. Not every man has to have huge muscles to be a man. On the other side of the coin, we can't accept health at every size. We shouldn't try to normalize promiscuity. There are things we need to reject for our own health and society's health. I think shorts like this one from Hamza are providing a better message. Let's reject the institutions that are driving us apart and are ruining us instead of rejecting each other. Reject Pornhub, OnlyFans, mainstream news, and even social media. I think most young men would feel better if they embraced more masculinity in their life. Eating and exercising practicing stoicism, doing mentally and physically challenging things, and learning how to be a leader, just for examples. These are all positive traits, and these traits don't have to come at the expense of others. Build yourself up and bring others up with you. Don't bring them down. Now, on to the second point, reclaiming male aggression. After watching many of these videos, aggression and violence is usually shown through battles, UFC fighting, intense lifting, and overcoming struggle. Violence has been a part of human history and the history of the universe since the dawn of time. Endless wars, genocides, 
and even the God that many people worship in the Christian faith has killed countless individuals in the Bible. All feelings, no facts in this segment. But, in modern society, aggression is frowned upon. Just play nice, learn to get along, follow the rules are all things everyone is told. Boys rough playing is now considered toxic. Even if you watch little boys play, most of them are naturally destructive in their playing style and aggressive compared to females across many cultures. Modern society has tried to strip men away from their natural aggression, their instinctual drives, and told them to feel dirty about it. Our natural aggression has been transmuted. Typical male activities are naturally filled with aggression and typically violent. Video games, many sports, large portions of anime and TV shows. Many of us living vicariously through these characters we see. Aggression is shamed, so instead of acting it out in real life, we act it out through mediums society has deemed acceptable. I think to deny violence as a part of human nature is to deny the reality we share, but there are many ways to use this. I will look upon Aoko Iroh for inspiration. A man who understood violence was rarely the answer, but was sometimes needed. He understood when faced with the weaker opponent who tried to mug him, he showed him strength, then compassion, which was a better answer. But Uncle Iroh also understood when violence was necessary, when he needed to stand up for himself and his beliefs that were being threatened by other violent forces. Be dangerous, be sharp, but understand you should rarely use your sword. You said that a harmless man is not a good man. A good man is a very dangerous man who has that under voluntary control. How should people become more dangerous? Oh, becoming more articulate is definitely, I would say, that's the primary array of weapons. So, I mean, physical prowess is something, and, and it's not nothing, that physical confidence that comes along with that as well. But the same thing replicated at the level of the ability to communicate and think, and that's a way broader field of, of battle and opportunity. We have lost the art to transmutate our natural aggression into something else. Aggression is defined as a forceful action or procedure, such as an unprovoked attack, especially when intended to dominate or master. This is a typical male spirit. With aggression, societies were built. Forceful actions were taken to shape the buildings around us. Destruction of trees and natural resources were needed, and aggressive forces were taken against these to build what we needed. Aggression is also shown in sports, another team wanting to dominate and win against another opponent. Aggression doesn't only have to be expressed through violence, which these videos show. Strength, fitness, wisdom, knowledge, wealth, and finding peace in life are all things 21st century humans need to reclaim. Reclaim your aggression, your lust for life, your ability to take action without being provoked. Understand the societal pressures around us in the Western world whether intentional or unintentional, have shaped us to be our weakest selves. Rejecting modernity and embracing masculinity may not be a bad choice for many people. Seek challenges in the offline world. Seek discomfort. Seek to find compassion and understanding with other human beings. Get off your phone and your electronics and reclaim aggression and your natural human curiosity for life. I promise you, that is in your nature. Learn to use your inner light and the world might just be a little brighter. Peace.